this portraiture here of you, I, uh, it's very heavy paint and bright colors, unlike some of the other work uh, in the exhibit. Was this an explorative moment in your work at the time? Oh, absolutely. At that time, I was trying all kinds of different things. I tried breaking up figurative painting into uh, abstract expressionism, and then I tried taking some of the characteristics of abstract expressionism and harnessing them to do uh, figurative painting. Uh, I tried all kinds of things, but one thing I never tried again, there has got to be like $50 worth of paint on this damn painting. And, you know, that thick paint with the color bouncing off the surface, uh, it was just too expensive. You can get, uh, at that point, the only way I knew how to get colorful color was to have the colors uh, created by the light bouncing off the surface. I uh, didn't understand all the things that you can do with glazes and combinations of uh, impasto and thin painting and dry brush and, and uh, uh, glaze and all that. I mean, I'm just learning. So uh, I, I, I did more paintings where uh, the color would be bright like this, uh, bouncing off the surface, but never with thick paint like this. I couldn't afford it. Now, on this one, I see that you not just have a still life, but you've uh, into, added yourself into the subject matter with the mirror image that's being reflected. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, though, obviously is not as close to the realism, so this is following that abstraction mm -hmm. that you're going for, right? Right. So did you find leaping away from realism and going into this forte, did you find this more complicated, harder to break away from the realism that a lot of us oh, yes. find? It's hard to do. Well, yes, because you need a reason for breaking away from realism. That's the difficult thing. I mean, people think, oh, uh, just doing more abstract, then you can do any damn thing you want, and it's easier. It's not. Uh, because what you do has to make sense. And I actually haven't broken away that far from realism here. Uh, the objects are more uh, uh, harness abstract techniques better than the face does, just because it's so very difficult to find in the face, uh, partly because you don't have so many strong color value contrasts, uh, but also psychologically. It's harder to look at the face and focus your interest on texture and color value. You still focus your interest on the human face. Uh, it's very hard to get away from that. So consequently, uh, that's not so much of uh, an exploration of, of uh, abstract techniques uh, in the faces in the rest of it. 